In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an agent for UCCX 12.5 and log into Cisco Finesse. Um, to be able to do that, you need to have a phone set up and registered to call manager. Um, that can be a soft phone, it could be, you know, it could be Jabber, it could be IP communicator, or it could be a hard phone, whatever, but you are going to need a phone set up to be able to log into Cisco Finesse. So I'm going to go ahead and get started creating that user. So not starting out in UCCX, starting out in Cisco Call Manager. I'm going to go to User Management, End User, and I'm going to Add New. And I'll put this on pause and fill it out. So I created a user with JDO for the user ID, set a password, a last name, a first name, and then I'm going to come down to Service, Enable, uh, User for I Am and Presence, uh, keep going. That's checked already. Enable mobility. And then I'm going to click save down at the bottom. Um, and now I need to add the user all the way to the bottom at permissions information to some access control groups. I'll click that button which will open this. Click find which will show me all the access control groups and I'm just going to give standard CCM end user. Scroll down to standard CTI enabled. Add selected and then once again click save. Now I need to associate this user to the device that is going to be associated to him for the UCCX account so UCCX knows where to send calls for this agent. So down here under device information about halfway down the page you'll see device association. Um, I'm going to click find. I only have a couple and I know that I want to use this physical phone right here. So I'm going to click that one and you'll see that the directory number on is 4837. So once I save that, the phone is now associated to that user, I can go back to related links and click go to go back to the user. I'll scroll back down and right here near the middle is directory number associations. Now the reason this has it right here, the 4837, is because I associated the phone to this user. If I didn't associate a phone to this user, this would be blank. But I have it, so I'm going to click 4837 and click Save. And now that user is going to be imported into UCCX, where I can add the user to a team. Um, but there's still another step we have to do in Call Manager before we proceed. We have to go to User Management, Application User. And there's a group called UCCX RMCM that's automatically created um, when you sync UCCX with CUCM. That's in a video that I did, uh, the first video in this series. So if you need to uh, review that, go back and uh, take a look. But I'm going to click this, and then all I have to do is go to Device Information, Device Association, and I need to find the phone. Um, that the user is associated with. So once again, that is this physical phone with a directory number 4837. And I'm going to click Save Selected Changes and go back to the user. And now I see that under Control Devices, that phone is there. And if you don't do that, you'll get an error when you try to log into Cisco Finesse. But now we are done in Call Manager and can move over to UCCX. So I'm going to go into Subsystems. RMCM resources and John Doe is now there as an agent. Um, he's on the default team and doesn't have any skills assigned. So I'm going to click the agent and I'm going to put him on the customer service team and give him the standard skill. And I'm going to go ahead and click update. And now that user should be able to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. So I'm going to go to HTTP. Yes. Um, actually, I'm going to copy what's in here. So you need to copy the full uh, the FQDN. I can paste it in here. And then I'm going to go to port 8445 forward slash desktop. And that will take you to the Cisco Finesse login. So I put in the credentials, so the uh, user ID, password, and agent extension. And I'm going to go ahead and sign in and see if this works. And it is letting me sign right in. Yep. 
So that is it. That agent is all set and ready to go. Now in this setup, I don't have any call center set up. I don't have any scripts set up. Um, in my next video, I will uh, show you how to set up a basic script and get some calls flowing to this agent when they go into a ready state. Um, if you liked this video, please like, comment, um, subscribe, um, or if you have a question about it, let me know and I will answer it as best I am able. Thanks for watching and have a great day.